In this video, I'm going to go over Memberium's Umbrella Accounts feature. If you've ever wanted to offer your membership program to small businesses, teams, any type of group, or corporations, then you'll be interested in checking out how Umbrella Accounts work with Memberium. In this video, we're going to cover what are Umbrella Accounts, ways that you can use Umbrella Accounts within your membership site or online course, and some basics of how Umbrella Accounts work with Memberium and Infusionsoft. So at this point, you might be scratching your head wondering what Umbrella accounts are exactly, and how does that help you? Uh, this feature has also been referred to as a sub-accounts add-on, a parent-child add-on, group accounts, team accounts, or corporate accounts add-on. Uh, you have one member who could join a membership, and then with their membership, they can add a certain number of users uh, under them, and they will get access to the same training program uh, that the manager has access to. Memberium's Umbrella Accounts feature allows you to control how many members the parent user can add under them. So if they have one membership, they can add up to five users. If they have a higher priced membership, they can add up to 10 members. Or if they have a higher priced membership plan, they can add up to 20 users. However you want to set your site up is completely up to you, and Memberium's Umbrella Accounts extension allows you to do that. To illustrate how this works, here's an example of how Umbrella Accounts can be added to any existing membership program as a bonus. Here's an example of how this works on one of our own membership sites. When the parent user is logged in, they can then click through to the page where they can add and invite users to the same program. Once this is set up properly, you can set it up where they can see the existing users that they've invited already, how many spots they have left, and a form where they can invite other users to the same membership site. Here the form is all filled out, and I'm going to go ahead and submit it. Now you can see the user has been added. There's one more remaining spot left. And then when set up properly, Infusionsoft will email the user that's been invited uh, to the membership site and let them know that the parent user has invited them to uh, take the training and any other next steps that you want to include in the emails. Uh, all of the emails are going to be handled by Infusionsoft and Infusionsoft's campaign builder. Here's an example of the welcome email that the child user receives after they've been invited. They can see the parent user's name in the subject line. And they can also see they've been invited to take uh, the training program by the parent user. Then they're also sent their login details. And after this, they'll re also receive some additional follow-up emails to continue on with the training. Again, all of that is handled by Infusionsoft and in the automation you set up in Infusionsoft's campaign builder. Another way is you can sell a higher priced or tiered membership plans that allow someone to invite a higher number of users depending on the plan that they have. Here's an example from Digital Marketer and their HQ program. Digital Marketer does not use Memberium and the Umbrella Accounts extension for their current version of their HQ program, but it's still a great example of how these types of tiered memberships can be positioned. They have a small team plan where one manager can add up to five users under them, or an enterprise level plan for companies that want to add over 20 users to a single account. Another way you can use the Umbrella Accounts extension is to sell corporate or group training packages. And lastly, another way we've seen the Umbrella Accounts add-on used is to offer internal employee training. So moving on to how Umbrella Accounts works. This is one person, let's call them the parent, buys a membership, and they can then add up to a certain number of users under them as members. Uh, we'll call these child users for this example. You can set the number of child users that a parent user can add to whatever number that you want. Uh, there's one simple setting where you can just type in a number and that's the number of users that they can add. You can also control this by the type of subscription that a parent member has where there's tiered memberships. So there's the higher priced memberships can add a higher number of child users under them. Uh, however you want to set it up is up to you. This is an example of the manage your added members page template. And this page allows the parent user to manage the sub accounts uh, that they've added to the site. Uh, they can click on the invite a new member button to add more users. Uh, they can see all the spots and existing users that they've already added on the same page. And they can see how many spots they have left. Also, they can click the disconnect button here to instantly remove a user. And this then opens up another spot uh, so they can add an additional user in place of that older user. I should mention that if a parent user's membership payment ever fails and you cut off their access, then also the child user's access will be cut off automatically. Uh, if you want to change the colors or the styling of this page to match your branding, you can do so easily with Elementor's page builder. 
It's also interesting to note that a parent user can add over 5,000 individual child users with Membrium's Umbrella Accounts feature, which is useful if you're selling memberships to large corporations or associations. So here's the Add New User page that's automatically linked up for you with the page templates. Again, this is also included with the free set of page templates that you can get when you become a new Membrium customer. So when they click the Invite a New Member button, they get sent to this page, and then they can add additional members uh, under them. This form will only be visible to users who are considered the parent user, and uh, here's an example of what it looks like. Depending on the info that you want to have the parent users add, you can also customize this form uh, to add additional fields, uh, such as a phone number for the child user, address, uh, or any type of Infusionsoft custom field. The other thing that happens when the child user is added through the form is a contact record is also created for them in your Infusionsoft app. So that's it. Here's what we just covered in this video. If you're interested in using the Umbrella Accounts add-on, it's available for all pro and advanced pricing plans. And if you'd like to get started using it, you can check out our pricing page and pick the plan that's right for you.